Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog. Um, so this is a, a bit of a request, I just took the microphone down. And that was to show this MFJ, this portable antenna tuner, uh, which has got permanent resonance just sat here, um, in use. And the, that, that's, what the, that's what the request was, show it being used. Um, I think that's what they meant anyway and so what I'm going to do is at the minute this is on a station this is in Croydon South London uh, this fella here I don't know where he is but he's got 700 watts um, don't wanna, I think he is in the Netherlands this one's Croydon that's 100 watts and that's a thousand so but he went from like a S7 up to a plus sort of like 10. Um, all right, that, but that, that's not what this video is supposed to be about. So it's just a quick show. So at the minute, I've got a N-fed vertical plugged in, and that's just plugged in the back of this uh, using a PL259. It's plugged in. And so we're not going to play around with other antennas. It's just going to show now how to tune in an antenna so what I'm going to do is we're going to come back here because we can see something happening but what I'm going to do first is we're going to go up the bands here um, so to 14 and let's go to about 14 200 that'll do uh, about there and we're going to listen all right we're going to turn this to, its, to the 12 o'clock positions what, what we're going to listen for is the noise. So that's going quieter. Quieter even still. And there it seems to be very loud. And as we change on the inductor, quieter, quieter to almost nothing, to a lot. So we're going to say there. So that's how you get the inductor tuned in. Now, we want to fine tune, and we're going to use the transmitter capacitor and the antenna capacitor. Now we can turn that down, and what we're going to do is switch on to a constant carrier. Let's say FM. All right. I know we can hear people on this frequency, but it doesn't matter because we're not going to really going to be using much power. We won't. We won't affect them. So while you're on constant power, on a constant carrier, on this case it's going to be FM, uh, we're going to key the mic. Right, so we're on air. Now nothing's really happening because the the um, power level, or on this car, is switched all the way off. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to key the mic, so you can see we're on air, I'm going to turn up the power. Just a little bit by little bit. There we go. And we see SWR down here moving. Yeah, because this is on SWR. And we can see that moving across. Now as that's moving across like that, I'm just going to just back that down. You can see the SWR just went all the way down. So I'm going to turn the power up a little bit more. I'm going to key the mic and turn the power up. And as you can see, look, those moving there. That's too much power. So now we're going to look at these needles, and this one here is the SWR, and this one is the power. Okay, I'm hoping you can see that. Let me just see if I can get a better, better angle on there. So now, as I key, I'm going to adjust, and you can see the SWR goes up and moves a little tiny bit. I'm going to go to this one here. This is the transmitter side of things. I'm going to. You can see the SWR moves a little bit. It just has a little extra nudge down there like that. I'm going to back over here. Now look. Moving this one here, this uh, capacitor on the antenna, brings the SWR. This power staying the same. And the SWR is now all the way down. And even on here, nothing for the SWR. So that now 
is tuned. That's that done. That's for 20 meters, 14 megahertz, that's done. We can now switch back to upper sideband. And there's some noise. That's not always there. We don't normally have much of a noise level here, quite good here. But this is now tuned for 20 meters. I don't know what today is going to be like. Yep, a little bit of a bird there. Let's go up. There must be a chunk up there. 250 is quite a... Uh, quite a uh, busy area for people. I don't, I don't know where they are. What we're going to do now? Find another one. It's quite a busy area here. Normally, especially with this contest, oh, it just becomes a big pile up. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to 40 meters and tune back in there. All right. So now we've gone down to the lower side band. It automatically changes. Like you can't see that thing. And there we go. It automatically changes. So when you go to the 14, that goes up to upper side band. You go below 10 megahertz, and you're on lower side band, and this automatically changes for you. So now again, we're going to find um, our tune, our tuning spot or our matching spot uh, on this frequency. So let's go into where I'm allowed to use. This is all shortwave. Like shortwave radio from foreign countries. Uh, but let's just not bother with that. Let's just skip down here. All right. All right. Would you describe my embarking for the students and stuff? I've had my first IC735. This is the second one. So he's going up to about signal strength five there, yeah. And before it was higher, wasn't it? So now what we're going to do is we're going to put these back to that central position. Yeah. And we're going to we're going to go through to where. Yeah, to the loudest. Probably there. Uh, there could be a couple of places that you might find it, but here, yeah, that sounds good enough to me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where there's nothing, but I can't hear anything because I don't want to be tuning in while uh, while. In, on their conversation. So now I'm going to back the power down all the way to zero. And back the power down all the way to zero again. And I'm going to key up on a carrier mode, on a constant carrier. Turn the volume down so we don't need to hear that. And then uh, as I key the mic, we're on air. Start turning up just gently the power wall. See that? See the SWR go flying up there. So we see it fly up down the bottom first. And then from there, I'm just going to put that all the way down. Look, see how that moves? We put it all the way down. I'm going to go back to this power key up. And you can see the SWR going up. Oh, the way you see that? Oh, quite violently shoots across there. And now we're going to. Drop this one, see how the SWR drop there. Back up again. And as you can see, look, our power level's up there. 
So again, but this time I'm using the needle at the top, using this needle here. And it's going to find that little bit of a sweet spot where it just drops all the way, like that. Oh, why does my camera keep doing that? I really do need to look into that. And, uh, and then we can say, well, we sort of hit the sweet spot there. All right. And as you can see, I can take this up to like 100 watts there. And the VSWR stays very low indeed. There we go. Very low. And 40 meters. Right. So let me drop back that back down to a power that I'm allowed to use. And we can go back to our LSB. So on the lower sideband and back up to that station that we heard before. Now look at the signal. He was down at signal 5 when he before we tuned in. And I was on a plus 10, Peter on a plus 10. So there you go, that's a very quick. And uh, it's very, very simple to use. I, and I like. I, I like the old stuff. Uh, one because doing it like this, one that 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 actual portable tune is good for 200 watts, and um, so it exceeds what I need it to. So I know I'm not going to be putting it through any uh, any any um, you know uh, pushing it to its limits. It's manual, so you get a bit of a you know a bit of a, an understanding or and I, I i you know I, I believe this benefits me I, I like doing the manual stuff uh first before i'd be looking at an auto an auto would be better in not better but simpler to use but i quite like this whole idea about tuning in it gives me a bit of something to do with it so that's it anyway that's uh for the the, the fellow that requested to show how to do that that's how you do it from what no matter what frequency you go on you set these to your 12 o'clock positions and then you go around you put it so you can hear the volume and then you go around and you find where the volume's the loudest where you got the most noise and that's your inductor then is in the right sort of area power off or power down to nice and low safe limits uh, me i just tend to do all the way down off and then start just gently going up because it's a bit it's a bit funny this it's not like a, um, you know, it's not like a volume control. But as you go around, it gets louder and louder. It's sort of like, it goes from nothing, about two, is on full blast. <laughs> yeah, so you've got that little tiny bit in there to play around with it. That's why I do it all the way off. Um, and then, yeah, so, and then you just gently bring it up. I tend to use this needle first. So my first indicator, I see the SWR going up, so that's why I always leave that on SWR. It gives me an indication of what's going on with the antenna. And then and then bring that down by using uh, these two capacitors. There's a capacitor behind here, a capacitor behind here. If you've watched the other video about the inside of this, you'll, you know what I'm talking about. Bring it down, turn the power up again, get to see it going on on here. And again, just fine tune in using these two. And, uh, and there you go. And it's as simple as that. Nice and easy. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope that's helpful. And uh, give a thumbs up if you want to. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.